we've been learning in Parachelik about Menashe HaMelech, who loses his Chelik in Olam Abba because he wonders about certain psukim in the Torah that just seem redundant or superfluous. There's a way to fix it, that type of approach. In fact, there's a way to fix it on Pesach, and it's based on something the Parmish Lama teaches in the name of the Magid of Nesrich, right at the beginning of Parsha's bow. Right at the beginning, because the Magid taught, what does it mean when Hashem says to Moshe Nara, <clears throat> I have hardened his heart, Laman, in order she see I shall place also signs. So we think of also as signs. The Magad says, no, no, no. Also sign means letters. How many extra letters are there in the Torah describing Paro being, you know, obnoxious, Paro arguing, Paro this, Paro that, and it's only because Hashem forced them. So why are all these extra letters? Because Moshe and Haron right from the start, were letter collectors. Seriously, they were people who could take an extra thing. It looks a little bit extra, but it's superfluous. Let me take it, I'll make it holy. You see this little thing over here? Let me take it, make it holy. Meaning, I go to show, and you know, you have the Pasha people in show, and you have the Machers, and you have the Kabai, and the Balkri, and the people who give money, and the Rabbanim, and you have people like me, right? The superfluous people who don't matter to the show. Moshe Rabbeinu says, no, 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 no. Right from the start, he takes a little pitzel of yid over here, a little pitzel of yid over there. He's a letter collector. And by learning how to be a letter, every single one, Hashem, you adding so much to the Torah just because you want to harden his heart? Yeah. Because I want you to learn that whenever you see an extra letter, Oso Sai, grab it. Make it real. Bring it to life. Whenever you see it in a shama, you think, eh, it's a little extra. It doesn't serve. Grab it. Bring it to life. What do we do at the Seder? We're letter collectors. Everyone starts going crazy. What does this mean? What does that mean? I have a shot. I have a shot. What an opportunity we have to be letter collectors <laughs> at the Seder to pick up all these little things we feel are insignificant, meaning when we hear a question that our natural reaction is it's idiotic, grab it. That's one of those letters. When we see a person who's just sitting on the side and participating in the Seder and not really interested, grab him and bring him back to life. That's what Moshe Rabbeinu did in the Torah. On Pesach, that's what our job is on Pesach. And I'm convinced that that's how we could fix the type of sin we learned about with Menashe, meaning to make a very strong statement. There's no such thing as an extra letter, no such thing as a superfluous neshama, no such thing as a question or an insight that doesn't matter.